wife is a gardener and she puts her plants outside in a kind of mini greenhouse at the start of the season when it's still a bit cool outside. The problem is that the sun can make the greenhouse too hot. So she asked if I could hook up a fan that turns on whenever the temperature reaches a certain level to bring cooler air into the greenhouse and blow the warmer air out. Since I was working on some Raspberry Pi projects, I figured I would try it on Raspberry using Python. It's arguably a better project for Arduino, which is less expensive and better suited uh, for what is a relatively simple project, um, but that'll be for another day. We'll do a quick tour of all the pieces, first of all, at a high level. We've got our Raspberry Pi 4 uh, here in a nice case, a ribbon cable that connects it uh, to a breadboard with the uh, tea cobbler. We've got a temperature sensor, a solid state relay, and then uh, a non-certified um, hookup here to uh, plug in. When we get to, when I do the final implementation, it'll be a little more uh, up to electrical code, but for now this, will, this is doing just for some testing purposes. So this is where the fan would plug in once we uh, plug this into the wall and get everything up and running. So we'll take a quick tour of how the, uh, the Raspberry Pi is uh, configured here. So if you hold on a second, I'll zoom in a little bit. So the first thing we did is connect the power, which is the 3.3 volt power, over to the power bus on the side, the positive side, and then we've got the negative uh, bus going over to a ground pin. Then we've got the DHT22 sensor, which is a humidity and temperature sensor, and that's again connecting up to the power, so you've got a positive and negative from the power. And then the yellow cable is where the signal is going to uh, go, which where it returns the uh, temperature and humidity information to the Raspberry Pi. Then there's, we've got an LED here, uh, so it's connected to the ground. Um, we've got the long pin on the side of the uh, LED that connects to a resistor, and the resistor then connects over to pin GPIO25 on the, uh, on the cobbler. Then we've got a push button here, and the push button is again connected to a resistor, getting a power, uh, getting a positive connection from the, uh, the power bus over there, and then it, the negative side feeds into GPIO 16. And then finally, we've got the uh, these two wires. Orange wire here is going out to uh, the ground, uh, and then you've got this red wire, which is connected to GPIO 26. So that's where we're going to turn on pin 26 when we want the relay to turn on the fan. So that's the basic hardware setup. Now I'm not going to go through all of the steps in the software. I'll put the you know, the code that I have uh, that had it running um, into the into the blog posting, so you can pick that up and use it if you want. Um, but what I wanted to do is kind of go through a little bit of the logic that goes along with the code, just so you get a sense of what I was trying to accomplish. So it had to do a couple things. I didn't want it to just uh, turn on and off with the uh, temperature. One of the issues you have is with with a sensor like that, you'll get some variation um, where you get some points actually where the temperature is maybe at 25.1 and then it creeps up to 25.2 and then back down to 25.1 and it can kind of oscillate around a temperature like that so you don't want it set you don't want to set a threshold to say okay turn on when you get to 25 degrees and so it'll hit 25 degrees and it'll turn on and then two seconds later it'll go back down to 24.9 degrees and then turn off again so you don't want it cycling on and off frequently like that so one of the things the code needed to do was be smart enough to say, okay, we've crossed the threshold, we're at 25 degrees, let's turn the fan on, and then uh, we'll run it for uh, one hour or we'll run it for half an hour, some period of time. And then at the, after it's run for that hour, then we're gonna check the temperature again. If the temperature is still above that temperature, then we'll keep running. And if it's not, then we'll turn off and stay off uh, until the next time it goes above that threshold. So it needed to do that. Um, I also wanted to be able to be, to have some user intervention that if uh, for some reason you wanted to manually turn the fan on or off, you had the ability to do that. So that's where the, the little push button was coming into play. And the idea there is that regardless of what state it's in, pressing that button will cause it to switch states. So if the fan is on and you press the button, it will turn it off and it will again keep it off for a predefined period of time. Or if the fan is off and you press the button, it will turn it on for that predetermined amount of time. So you have the ability to do some user intervention as well as having the system fully automated. Okay, we're ready to give the program and the hardware a run now to see how it all works. I've got a heat source here, which I'll use to heat up the uh, temperature sensor, and I've got a light here in the corner that will come on. It's plugged into the circuit, so it's what will come on 
when the circuit heats up to the desired temperature. So right now I've got the threshold set to 25 degrees Celsius. In the room right now it's about, I don't know, 23, 24 degrees perhaps. Um, so it's below the threshold. After we heat up the sensor, then the system will stay on for at least 10 seconds, but I'm going to go use the switch to shut it off, at least temporarily, and it'll shut off for 10 seconds, and then it'll come back on because the temperature of the sensor will still be above the threshold. And it takes a while for the sensor to cool down, uh, so we won't actually get to see it cooling down, but, but you'll get the idea of how it all works. So let's go ahead and start the program running. And you can see it's giving us the current temperature. It's about 23.8 degrees. Go we'll and take the heat source. Heat up the sensor. And you can see very, very quickly the sensor got up to temperature. In this case, it hit about 29 degrees and the light came on. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the button. And it tells us uh, the fan is shutting down. It had been on for, sorry, the, in this case, the uh, light was on. It says fan, but it says it's turning on light. Uh, so it says the light was on for 11 seconds, and then it was off for 10 seconds. But because the temperature is still above the threshold of 25 degrees, the light comes back on again. You might have also noticed in the video that when the temperature threshold was reached, the LED came on. And shortly after that, then when the voltage was applied to the relay, the LED came on in the relay as well. When the uh, system decides to shut things down, then it will also send a signal to turn off the LED and cut the power to the relay, which will cause everything to shut down.